Hello. Today, we will talk about special aspects of maintaining the transformers for electrical energy conversion when supplying power for subsurface mining works in mines. One of the main requirements for such transformers is the inability to inflame and to sustain combustion. Thus, flammable petroleum oils are not normally used for electronic insulation and heat removal in the conditions of mines. Preference is given to either dry type transformers or transformers with fire resistant dielectric liquids. Fire resistant dielectric liquids, like petroleum oils, are contaminated, moisturized, and oxidized by atmospheric oxygen during storage and operation. For this reason, unwanted impurities must be removed from them on a periodic basis to maintain high quality insulation and reliable operation of a transformer. Globecore has developed UVM 1 unit, which can be used to purify not only petroleum transformer oils, but also fire resistant dielectric liquids of vegetables and synthetic origin, FR3, Mydel 7131, etc. The capacity of this unit is one cubic meter per hour. The unit operates according to the multiple of comprehensive processing of dielectric liquids. First, the liquid passes alternative through two filters with filtration fineness of 225 microns. Next, it is heated and fed into the vacuum columns. In the vacuum column, the dielectric liquid enters the activation filter, which increases its surface area for more efficient vacuum-driven removal of moisture and gases. The drying and degassing process is clearly visible through a large sight glass. Then, the dielectric Electric liquid flows down a column whereof it is pumped out and passes through another filter with the filtration fineness of 5 microns. At the unit outlet, the quality of dielectric liquid purification is compliant with purity class dash slash 14 slash 12 of ISO 4406. Now, let's discuss the design features of UVM-1 machine. It is equipped with a two-stage vacuum system consisting of a backup pump and a booster pump. The presence of this kind of system offers several advantages at once. First, the dielectric liquid enters the column when driven by vacuum, so we don't need a separate input pump. Second vacuum is created in the column with a depth of up to 2 millibars for efficient drying and degassing of dielectric liquids. And third, it is possible to use the vacuum system for vacuumizing the mine transformers. Certain design solutions were required to enable the unit to operate in dusty underground environments. These include placing all the components in an assembled container, laying the power cables aside the pipes, an IP66 rating for the control cabinet. The unit also uses Viton type seals resistant to various dielectric electric liquids. Controlling UVM-1 unit is not difficult. It is performed by an operator by turning the heater and the pumps on and off using the control cabinet panel. The heater can be turned off with full or half power. The controller displays important parameters of the purification process, the dielectric liquid temperatures and the absolute pressure in the vacuum column, as well as the status of actuators and sensors. The safe operation of the unit is ensured by the presence of oil level sensors, an oil spill sensor in the tray, a foam sensor and a sensor for presence of oil in the trap that protects the vacuum pipeline. In order to enhance the operation convenience of the equipment, we have added a separate compartment for storing tools, hoses, and other accessories. The container has been wheeled, so the unit can quickly move from one work location to the other. And what other transformers operating in non-standard conditions can this unit be applied to for maintenance purposes? Please leave your opinion in the comments. More information can be found at www.globecore.com.